Hello everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how you can send and receive files on Android and Linux wirelessly. Uh, to do this, you're going to need to install this app here, the Wi-Fi FTP server. <clears throat> install it on your Android tablet or phone or Android device. Then you're going to need to uh, read this article, learn how to set up the app. Um, link is here to get it. Once you've got it, you can open it up and click the start button. Now clicking start will start up the file server on the device. After that, you need to install the FileZilla application. That's an FTP client. So the instructions for each Linux distribution are in the description below, but generally just install FileZilla. I'm using Fedora, so I will do sudo dnf install FileZilla. And uh, it's already installed, so I can go ahead and launch FileZilla. Now, the FileZilla application doesn't have any connections out of the gate, but if I want to connect to my Android device, I can go up here under host and I type in FTP colon slash slash 10 point. And this is going to be different for you, but it will show you in the app the server URL. So I'm just entering my server URL, URL and that's 196.1.141. And then uh, I messed up there. Go to username Android, password Android. Port is 2221. Click, click, quick connect and it's going to connect to the Android device. You may get an initial uh, failure attempt to connect, but it usually works. So. so just don't worry about the uh, the issues or you know the initial connections, because you should be able to get in right away. So if you want to transfer a file to the device, you can go ahead and find a file on your left side here. The left side is your Linux computer. The right side is the remote computer. So if I want to transfer a, uh, let me see. Say I want to transfer my tax document to the phone. I can click upload. And now we see this is on the phone here. If I want to download something from the phone, say the bookmarks file, I can click the download button. And we can open up our folder here. We go into the Dropbox. And we see the file that I just downloaded from Android is right here and it's backed up. You can also do this with folders. So if you want the, let's say I want to download this uh, backup folder, I can click download. You can also upload folders. So if I want to upload the, uh, let me see, Linux, fun with Linux stuff, I can upload this. And it queues it up and it sends everything up. That is how you transfer files wirelessly uh, to Linux and Android. And remember, just find something on your Linux side and click upload or find something on the Android side and click download. And last thing, if you want to delete something, you can right click on it, click delete, and it will delete it from the server. And it works on both sides, so just click delete. You can also rename stuff. And we cover a lot more about how FileZilla works in between the app and Android and all of that in the link in my article down below in the description. So please check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.